Hey guys, how's it going? I'm doing an update on my Hobby King Predator 650 quadcopter and what's happening and what I'm doing with it right now. So right now I got a two controller setup as you can see. One controller is the DX6i and second controller is the DX5e. So the DX6i controls everything about the quadcopter apart from the gimbal and so that includes like flight mode, the actual maneuvering of the quadcopter and the retractable landing gears so it can uh, the transmitter goes to the receiver and the receiver for the main quadcopters right here goes into the NASA M light flight controller along with the GPS right there and everything's powered off by a four cell 4000 milliamp lipo battery that gets you about 10 minutes of flight time with 12 inch props this is weighing about eight pounds now and then the battery also powers the retractable landing gears. And if you want to see a video about the retractable landing gears, uh, check out one of the videos on my channel. So the second controller, the DX5E, controls um, only the Terra V2 gimbal that has the GoPro 4. And as a little reminder, if I should say, the GoPro 4, this is the silver, fits fine in the Terra V2 gimbal without any modification. So you don't need to worry about that. But the whole setup for the gimbal runs off of a 3 cell 2200 milliamp battery right here. It is the second battery on this quadcopter. And I'll give you about maybe 10 flights of use without having to be recharged, so the gimbal uses barely any power. The receiver for the gimbal is right here. It's a little six channel receiver, like $5, pretty cheap. And the power from all this is uh, done by the ESC, so the battery connects to the ESC. The ESC gives the power to the receiver, but then there's also another cable coming from the battery slash ESC connector right here that goes to power the gimbal. So you will need a dedicated power uh, source to the gimbal in this case, that battery. And also under here you have the, um, the cable, if you can see that right by the fla uh, flashing blue light, that goes to the receiver and that is my, um, that's a controller, so there's a breakout cable that's included, which gives you the option to choose whatever channel you want to control uh, the gimbal, and I'll show you that right now. There's two modes you can set up in the Taro software, and I have them switchable by the fifth channel um, gear switch right here. So, first mode is just, it'll always go into center no matter what. So I can move it up the stick like this, like this, and I'll go back to center. Second mode, if I flip the switch, it's like the hold mode. I can go all the way down, let go, hold it there, left, hold it there, go back up a little, hold it there. And I can flip it back. And then no matter what position you are in the, with the gimbal, uh, it will always keep it level to that position, uh, which is pretty much what a gimbal is used for. Hey guys, so the idea behind the setup is I'll have one controller and I'll be able to fly it and control it without interfering with my friends so we'll have this controller and they'll be controlling the gimbal and the camera and they'll have a lot of fun doing whatever they want with the camera while I'm separate and flying the, the quadcopter. Hey guys, thanks for watching this little quick update review of how I've done two controllers with the Hobby King Predator 650 quadcopter. So if you like this video and found it informative, please give it a like. I really like to see that feedback and how I'm doing. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video about this.